Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, and if you're watching this video, then that probably means you clicked away from episode 50 to come to episode 49.5 and watch me get the gold medal in Cloud Palace. I decided to make this a little bit of an extra video just because, um, it's actually a very hard, actually probably the hardest gold medal I've had to get in this entire game up to this point. So I figured I'd just make a little bit of a guide or strategy thing showing how to, or how I do it anyways. Like, if there's no concrete way, really, the way to do this is just to keep your wits about you. That's the best advice I can possibly recommend for these kinds of things. But, uh, there's a few things that I could probably advise on. Yeah, there were a few people actually in the comments of the last video that, um, mentioned that they had a hard time with this, uh, gold medal or that they just never got it at all, as a matter of fact. So, uh, I figured I'd, uh try and do my best here to help those people, help them through their pain. Alright, as you can see, the first part of this level really isn't all that bad. Um, just get as many beads as you can along the way, because this is probably the easiest you're going to have beads for you, uh, laid out for you. And uh, since there's going to be a lot of opportunities uh, later on in the level where you can lose a lot of beads very fast, trust me on that, and that's where you're going to really need to keep your wits about you more than anything. It kind of starts here with this big pit, because there's a little bit of risk involved here. It's still not too bad, though. As far as I know, 385 beads is the most you can have at this point, and if you followed everything I did to a T, then you should have that, too. Alright, now this part is where things start to get a little bit persnickety. Because, uh, there's these things, these aren't too bad, but... Actually, this whole part really isn't too bad, it's just the part right after this is bad. Actually, I don't know, this part right here with, uh, this... These beads, they they appear, you want to get them as fast as humanly possible, because they disappear in a hurry. You're going to see them disappear pretty soon here. Okay, I got them all before they started disappearing, but yeah, they actually disappear a lot faster than most of those bead combinations that appear like that. So be sure to get them uh, before that happens. It's not absolutely crucial, but what can you do? So, now, right as soon as you walk past this pit... You're going to be faced with the most threatening thing in this whole freaking challenge. I kid you not. Krakow's going to start chasing you, and it's going to be <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. You're going to have to pretty much pull this off perfectly. This is the perfect run of Kirby's Epic Yarn right here. What you want to do, I'm going to do this as I talk. or Yeah, I'm going to do it as I talk. I'm going to kind of just narrate it. You want to move forward. Don't stop moving forward. Don't go back for any beads. Um, you want to make him stop and attack kind of right there. So that he uh, falls behind a little bit. Don't worry about those four beads there too much. Just get this, and that's probably the best thing you can do. Get over to this platform quickly, and then jump, jump, and he should go away at that point. I could have done that a little bit better. Like, he could have gotten two of those four beads that I passed up. But, um, really, it doesn't matter. Like, you don't have to get all those beads, not by a long shot. And if he hits you, then you're probably get that's probably going to screw out of gold. Because if he hits you, then he tends to hit you again. Because you're just uh, so lopsided from getting hit the first time. Alright, there's another bead down here. Another hundred, so... That's always useful. Be sure to get that. And um, we can head up here and get a treasure, I guess. I don't know why. Just for the hell of it, I guess. Alright, and uh, over here... There's another little bit of a thing. Be very careful here, because it's, it's actually pretty easy. Easier than you might think to fall in a pit around here. Like, miss one of these buttons and fall in a pit. Because they're pretty widely spaced apart. And even though it looks like there's a ton on the screen at any given time... Somehow they just uh, seem to elude you sometimes. A little bit strange. Alright, and uh, once you're done with that, be sure to not fall in the pit like I was about to very stupidly. And uh, right here, be, be very careful here because there's that B over there. And if he hits you, then uh, you're probably going to fall in the pit as, as well as lose a bunch of bees from beads from the hit itself. So try to hit him. Well, I actually didn't hit him there. I actually took a very risky dive. But, um, you probably want to kill that guy. Just a forewarning, I don't know. I managed to get past him without killing him. But he he is a pretty big nuisance in this freaking thing. Also be sure to, like I've been doing, get all the patches that you can. Because, uh, you never know when one of those is going to save you at the end of the level. You might be, uh, very close to gold and that bonus wheel can save you at the end, I tell you what. It's done that to me a few times, actually. Alright, and once you've gotten all the bees down there in that very precarious situation... Uh, you're ready to head up here and move on with this part, which is probably the second most intensive part of this whole thing, next to that Krakow chase from before. 
I tell you what, I'm so glad to have gotten past that crackle chase because I actually had a few failed recordings and that's always where I failed was that crackle chase. So finally get, to get past it without failing too bad, that's fine by me. Alright, so yeah, here you want to just keep on shooting these guys, get as many of their beads as you can. Just be careful not to hit them because, uh, or like hit them with your body because then you can lose a lot of beads. These guys don't draw beads, so don't worry about that too much. These guys do draw beads though, so, and they also try to hit you with their arrows, which will be a major damper on your bead count. Alright, another, there's a few other bees up here. Uh, there's a bunch of beads right down there. As you can see, I'm at gold now. I want to maintain that, which is easier said than done, as you can probably assume. Alright, a bunch of those guys have beads. Yeah, like, it's really easy to lose beads here, even though there's so many of them. And also right here, be sure to recognize that the cannons shoot three times, and then they stop shooting, so that's when it's safe to go. Alright, careful of the bees again here. I keep feeling like, feel like I'm saying beads instead of bees. I don't know. And if you want, you can actually shoot this whole thing down, and there's a star at the top. You just gotta be careful not to get squished in the process. Alright, uh, there's a treasure on the lower path and beads on the upper path, so if you're going for the gold medal, you want to head here. If you're going for that treasure, then obviously, <laughs> you know the path to take. And I'm more of these fart knockers, just try to avoid them as you can. And now the boss himself. This actually isn't as bad as you might think it would be. His attacks are all pretty, uh, he telegraphs them quite a bit, and they're pretty easy to avoid when he does telegraph them. You can also, like, head, like, down here and shoot him with your, uh, short-range projectiles if you want. I don't know if they do more damage or anything crazy like that. Haven't done all the exact calculations. Alright, and just keep a constant thing on, on him, and, uh, I'll be careful of this. Just stand back when he does this, because that won't hit you if you're at the edge of the screen. And you can still hit him just fine, so... Alright, I think he's down to his last stage. Here he is. He has like three stages of fluffs, if you've noticed. Uh, and he like what every time he like goes through and he like quivers a little bit. It's kind of ridiculous actually. Alright, and careful here. Uh, you can actually head down here if you want. Hit him like this when that when he does that little solar beam attack. And uh, that's it. He doesn't drop any beads himself, so you can't really count on that. But if you've kept your wits about you up to this point and uh, don't get too greedy, that's another big thing then you should be just fine, and if you're not, you always got this bonus wheel to depend on. So, that's gold medal for Cloud Palace. I'm I'm actually very happy that I did that on the first time I got past Krakow, because even once you do get past Krakow, or that Krakow chase, uh, there's still a lot of opportunities to fail that, so... I hope this has helped some of you if you've uh, struggled with this mission like I did off-screen for a little bit. I actually already did this once off screen just to see how good I was at it. And, uh, it wasn't too bad. Alright, and, uh, yeah, that was Carrie coming over to the play. We might have to check it out in episode 50, I don't know. And that's gonna be it for this, uh, so I'll link back to episode 50 on the screen right now. And you can go back there and enjoy that if you so desire. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope this helps out some of you. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.